Hey guys, welcome back. Winter is approaching for us all, so I thought it would be a great opportunity to bring up winter camping. Now, I remember leaving Iowa for the West late that summer. We only had a few months under our belt before we started seeing temperatures overnight become too cold for us to stay. And like Oregon, Colorado, Montana, Wyoming, all these places became too cold very quick. But we always knew eventually we would need to head to the south. But finding places down south to winter wasn't always so easy at first. But now we're in our third season out here in the southwest. So we want to show you some of our favorite places to stay warm this winter. But it's not just about staying warm. These places are beautiful and offer inspiring views with tons of stuff to do. And of course, little to no camping fees. Now we can't do all of these locations justice in just one video so we're going to break this up into a mini series and rules for making this mini series are simple. Number one they have to be places that we've personally been to camped at and been able to verify. Number two they have little to no winter season and that's eventually going to take us to three states California, Nevada, and Arizona. However, large parts of these states still see sub-freezing temperatures, so we're gonna have to narrow it down even further to an area that we'll refer to as the winter fun zone. Today, we're taking you to Nevada, where we have five locations to show you, and the best part about it, every location today is free, even the ones on the water. If you like this video, consider subscribing to the channel and turning on the notifications. Subscribing, liking, and commenting on our videos really means a lot to us, and it goes a long way to helping us promote this channel. So thank you in advance, and let's get started. Today, we're gonna talk about BLM camping on Lake Mead. That's what we're talking about. We're gonna show you all of our spots that we love and all the locations that you're gonna wanna take advantage of when you're out here. Camping, dumps, garbages, water fill, mm -hmm. and trash. You got all it. here at Lake Mead. Fantastic boondocker paradise. We've read an article that Nevada is supposed to be one of the worst states for boondocking and camping overall. And we've been in Nevada for quite a while, mm -hmm. and that has not at all been our experience. We have so much to show you. We're gonna start in an up and coming area we spend time in every year, Overton, Nevada. This place keeps getting bigger, nicer, and cleaner each time we come back. Overton is important to today's video because it's our nearest town to our locations today. And it'll have all the supplies you're looking for, groceries, propane, fresh water, laundry, hardware stores, friendly people. And if you need something more than that, Vegas is one hour away. But that brings up an excellent point. This town is sort of like the perfect distance from a major city like Las Vegas for campers like us. You see, the closer you get to a major city like Las Vegas, the free camping areas tend to turn questionable in a hurry. We are checking out Peeville Road. The map or the reviews that I saw does say that it's a trash road. We always like to see for ourselves. When possible, make a U turn. Yeah, we hear you, Garmin. We know. Look at this place. What is wrong with people? Like, that you are to a big town or a big city it is trashed unfortunately that's just the way that it goes and that's why we generally try to find ourselves a little ways away from the cities so here's the first spot we want to share with you today welcome to Stewart's Point there's vast amount of space and shoreline at Stewart's Point this is the kind of place where you're guaranteed a spot, but you get so much more. Stewart's Point, there's tons of room out here. While we're two rigging it, this spot is absolutely perfect. The view of Lake Mead is pretty great. This place is just littered with camping spots all down here. This 
road right here outlines the camping. Everything inside the road and to the water is open to camping. We see people camping everywhere in every way possible out here. This is why we like Stewart's Point. We're at our favorite little point. It's a little closer, right to this edge where it just kind of infinity drops off right into Lake Mead. Lake Mead is official dark sky country. It's surrounded by mountains that block Vegas light pollution, which makes stargazing out of this world. So we're gonna set the star laps right over here tonight and then uh, try and catch that Milky Way in this new moon. camp spot you're sure to find many roads and trails that lead to various sections of the shoreline. With all this space and freedom you can pretty much get down with any of your hobbies as you see fit all while mixing it up with the local wildlife. We just made some pizza and uh, I think they like it. <laughs> Look at these guys. We're at Lake Mead. We're at Echo Bay. This is my son Blake. We're out on a bike ride. But do you guys see what's happening here behind us? We have at least 18 bighorn out here. The biking out here can be rough in areas, but it's still pretty amazing. You can stick to the roads for an easier ride or pack up for a longer day of exploring the desert find a donkey trail and see where it takes you. Okay, we're over here at Stewart's Point. We just got done getting through a hailstorm and we finally get to see some of these washes run. Oh yeah, look at this. A real desert wash actually getting water through it. This is awesome. This is the second year in the desert finally get to catch one yes all right we got a crazier part up here that always has a sign up that says watch for water and but we've never uh, actually seen it run so uh, we're coming up on it now That's a little deeper than the other one. I 
just wonder if she's gonna do it. I mean, we are, but. The tundra survives. What else can you do out here in the winter when you're trapped in the desert? Is jump over to Overton real quick and go to their city park right behind the laundromat. This place is really clean. It's great for Sergi's paws. It has like a nine hole uh, disc golf course. So here's the Overton park. Got your volleyball court. Then you have your Frisbee golf is all around this grass patch here. You got this nice little pavilion here. Sit on, basketball courts, tennis courts, playground, additional Frisbee golfing behind there. Awesome place to kill time for laundry. <laughs> Just got done with our round. I smoked there per use. And uh, Sergi is beat, so mission accomplished. And we're about to head home. This year, Dare's parents met us out here with a four-seater side-by-side. And we did over 70 miles of backcountry OHV, and we barely scratched the surface out here. But if you want to be a double threat, make sure to bring something to enjoy on the water. lead dog. I wonder if he knows that uh, he's got a life vest on. <laughs> Probably not. First kayaking trip though of Lake Mead. We've been here several times before but we've never got our paddle board out and this is the first time here with the kayak. So it's been so time. windy. That's some of the freak stuff around here you know the heat is one thing but you can always come jump in the water but the wind here you can't do anything you can't go outside you can't jump in the water you can't sunbathe you can't do anything when it's windy at Stewart's Point it sucks this is a classic uh, Stewart's Point sunset setting up tonight uh, those clouds are gonna be on fire uh, tonight classic oh look who's here the winds picking up tomorrow's supposed to be windy Maybe we'll get some good footage of the wind out here at Stewart's Point. We've talked about it before, it's but. Crazy. So that's also why we're grilling tonight. It's, it's impossible to grill out here in this wind as well. You can't keep a flame. I'm gonna finish grilling up here. We're just gonna chill tonight. Somebody had a bad night in the wind with their awning. It's just a shame that they decided to leave it out here where we're all camping. We don't know who did it, but it wasn't here when we got here. That's where we are here on Stewart's Point. It's one of the furthest ones from Vegas, so I think which makes it a little less popular, which is fine by us. These spots stay pretty clean, but it's that way for a good reason. And we'll cover that in just a second. But let's take this opportunity to get you familiar with the area. Stewart's Point has a 15 day stay limit and is located 23 minutes south of Overton on Highway 169. Once you turn off the highway, you'll pass through a small residential neighborhood about a mile or so down the road. And then it opens up to this vast area for recreation. Do you see your spot out there? Well, if you didn't, 
Let me show you four more possibilities. This is the Overton Wildlife Management Area. This has an eight day camping limit. This area is the closest to town. It's right outside of city limits, right near the speed trap. <laughs> this is what I was talking about guys, is the Overton speed trap. Um, we saw it coming in. This is their second guy they pulled over since we've been in town all of 10 minutes. So just be careful, go the speed limit when you're in town. Welcome to Sand Mine Road. Sandmine Road does not offer a view of Lake Mead, but it does offer a view of a great canyon and does offer hiking and there is OHV trails right off of this road. To my left, you have Snowbird Mesa. Free camping all year round. To my right is affectionately called Poverty Flats, or the locals call it Overton Heights. One's on the left, one's on the right, open all year round, and are only five and a half miles south on 169 out of Overton. So we're at a spot out here, still in Nevada, <clears throat> um, Lake Mead, Poverty Flats, but we've been driving by this spot, checking it out, but there's always somebody here. But look at the views that it has. Um, finally, we're gonna be able to check it out. So we're gonna stay here probably for a week. It's just, the view around here is so cool. We got the Badlands over here, and then you got the view of Valley of Fire in the distance, but there's green trees. It's just so diverse. Welcome to the cut. Why do we call it the cut? Well, it's because of this guy right here. As you can see, there's a couple campers here already. This is not a marked area. This place is gonna be the furthest from Overton, which is about 22 minutes down the road on 169. Okay, but it is gonna be the closest to Echo Bay. Echo Bay is gonna be your one-stop shop for your dump and your fresh water and your trash if you need to do all three. Um, we do have different trash receptacles we'll show you in a minute. Here's Echo Bay. Take a ride in here. This campground, they just recently uh, closed. So this is just gonna be a little teardrop circle right here for your dump. But there's your dumpster. You just take this sucker wide, that's what I do. Take it wide like this. And then you're gonna come right over here. And there's your dump station. The dumps, it's a little high. Um, up on the station in my opinion and the water is all the way at the end here and right here is the closest trash location to Stewart's Point it's just right at the end of the road right down there is is your entrance to Stewart's Point and here are the three Blue Point Spring dumpsters Thank goodness for these guys because without them, I think this place would be a whole lot more trash. So well done um, for folks in this area for giving us easy access to trash. It just makes it so much better for us to stick around and spend our money in your town. Okay guys, did we miss a favorite spot of yours? Do you wanna share an experience that you had at one of the locations we featured today? Please join the discussion below. That's it for us today, guys, and we want to thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.